person. I have little lady hands while I'm trying to show you guys stuff. Hello, my lovely people out there in the world of YouTube. Um, so, I have a nail haul. I was supposed to do this, I think, a week or two ago. Um, I never ended up getting the chance to do it, so here we go. Um, this is going to be more nail related haul than anything else. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. So first off I have here, it's Island Girl um, Cuticle Oil. When I went to Hawaii for the first time for our anniversary, anniversary like two years ago, um, I bought the cuticle oil more so as souvenirs, so I didn't touch them. But a few months ago, my boss did go to Hawaii, and I told her anything she saw Island Girl related, go ahead and pick that up for me. So she came back with this set from Island Girl. Um, so I've only seen this online or in Hawaii. So um, it has three different cuticle oils in here. It says scented. I don't see where it would say what each one smells like. I can't wait to use these and they obviously have um, some flowers floating around inside. Little dried flowers. Well not so much dried now that they're sitting in the cuticle oil but anywho. Moving on. I have here these two are these two guys here are in my top I guess five um, nail strengtheners and uh, hardeners. These are from Nail Aid. And one says nail builder, stop splitting, peeling, and chipping. One says thicker, uh, hard wraps for thin tearing nails. I love these guys. I've only been able to find them at Ross or like TJ Mac. No, I've only seen them at Ross, sorry. Um, now that I've seen them at Walmart as well, I at one point had like five backups of either one of these and I started giving them to friends that were having nail issues so I always have these on hand um, let's see I got these each for $2.99 at Ross and normally I guess they're five dollars um, so I, either one I used it doesn't really matter but this line I've really come to like growing out my nails really long these have definitely saved me these are Holy Grails, I always have backups of these, and yeah, so love these. Next up is this Beauty Secrets Nail Polish Thinner. Um, I finally, finally picked this up. I'm so glad I did, because as some of you know, if you paint your nails a lot, or you have old polishes, they tend to get goopy or thick or dried out. Um, I actually bought this at Sally's along with one of these little pipe thing, um which I'm call it. What are these little pipette things? Um, I just squeeze in a few drops into my bottle, kind of let it sit and work with the the brush to kind of work it in, and then kind of shake it around a little. If you bit. need to add more, um, a few more drops at a time. I wouldn't do go too crazy with it, but this has been a lifesaver. I've had a few of my favorite um, polishes get really thick and hard to work with. And especially my Sesh V top coat, when you get halfway through that bottle, it tends to get really gunky and thick and it's impossible. But this has been nail polish lifesaver slash top coat lifesaver. Love this stuff. I totally recommend it. I don't know why I waited so long to get it, but it's a nail polish thinner. If you haven't gotten it yet, do. I don't remember exactly how much this was though, so I'll try and look it up and um, list it somewhere on the screen or down below. But this love, 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 uh, polishes. So the rest will be polishes. One I have is from Pure Ice. It's just plain white polish. Nothing special there. Another one I have is from Sally Hansen. This is in Copper Penny. Very pretty. It's not as chunky as it you would think um, in the bottle because once you get it out and paint it on your nails it kind of thins itself out and it's fine glitter. I was hoping it'd be a lot more dense packed with this glitter um, but I still love it. Next one is from Fergie. This is Bronze Bombshell and it's just a mixture of gold, brown, um, black, glitter all mixed in there. The only one that's really fine is like the orangey copper color, but the black and gold are pretty chunky. Um, and there's a little guest we have. So this takes a few coats to actually get it 
to how it looks in the bottle. Kind of like this one, it thins itself out, you know, once you use it. But, um, yeah. Then next I got this mainly for upcoming holiday nail art stuff and just because I don't have a red chunky glitter. But this is from Milani. I've realized going through my collection, I have a lot of Milani's. I've come to realize, apparently, I they're one of my favorite brands. Um, this is clear cut it's called red and it's just a chunky red glitter I have this in gold that I really loved as well so I'm gonna have to go get more of the other colors and then one so the next one we have here is leather loose it's a purple based um, polish it doesn't look like it just looking at the bottle but once you lift the lid out and you kind of play with it you see that it's a purple base and then it just has a bunch of really fine micro like glitter into it. Like I, from it's hard to describe. I see like gold and brown and coppery color in it. Um, it's hard to describe. I'll try to insert a picture of a swatch of it that I can find for you guys. But um, this is just so I don't know. It was interesting, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And then my last two, I love these Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Um, this one is in Rose Run. And this one is in Cine Snap. I freaking love this one. I used it in my Halloween, um, uh, what was it, Halloween? Um, I used this in my Halloween zombie nail art tutorial. Um, it is just this like blood red, dark, cinnamony color like it says in the name. But I absolutely love this freaking polish. It's one of my favorites. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've made a good dent in it so far, and I haven't even had it that long. I love this polish. So, yeah, I think that is all the nail-related stuff I have in front of me. Um, I will be doing a tutorial coming up for Christmas-related. It's going to be Christmassy, but not Christmassy colors, kind of. I don't know. It'll be the colors that I have on my nails now, just a little bit more jazzed up. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I will try and leave the links for um, these other things down below and where you can find them if um, you guys are interested in looking for them. Thank you so much for watching and I totally appreciate everybody who has subscribed and kept up with watching my videos. I know I haven't been able to post them very consistently, but if you guys haven't heard me mention like a million times, I'm probably a broken record by now, but um, it's a little hard with both my jobs to film, so I do it when I can. I shall see you guys in my next video. Thanks again, as always, for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video wherever the, I think it's right here. Um, and then I do have other links below for you guys. I have made a Facebook page for my nail stuff. Um, I have a coupon code below for bornprettystore.com. And yeah, I'll leave any other details below. Thanks, you guys. Bye! Somebody is on my roof.